Hello everybody, just wanted to pop in really fast and say that we are putting this one out of order in just a little bit. We wanted to get it out before the end of Ramadan. We are currently back home. Uh, we've been here for about a month now. We just wanted to post this one a little out of order so we could get it out in time. And we still have one more really cool India video to post that will be coming out next. So hopefully you enjoy this one. Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Surprise, we're back in America. And we're here with my family, the fam bam. These are my sisters, that's Selwa, that's Zara, and that's my brother-in-law, Paul. Yep, say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> and today we are um, going out and showing you a side of our home. Right now we are on our way to go somewhere super duper special. Um, so we actually live in an area that's very Muslim populated. And in the past couple of years, they've been doing this really cool thing for Ramadan. It's called a Suhoud festival. And basically Suhoud means right before you start fasting for Ramadan, you like, wake up and you eat something so it, this could you eat and drink something small it's like a, basically the breakfast before fasting the suhoor festival i think basic i think why they call it the suhoor festival is because you basically stay up all night it starts at like 10 30 p.m and it goes until like 6 a.m 6, 2 a.m 3 3 a.m it goes until 3 a.m so basically um you stay up all night almost to suhoor and i think that's why they call it that because you definitely don't eat your, your small breakfast there they have a lot of vendors and a lot of food they have so many things there but anyways we're gonna go there and we're gonna show you guys what it's all about and it's gonna be so much fun let's roll See you. so for the people that don't know what ramadan is ramadan is the spiritual time for muslims everywhere we basically fast from dawn to dusk we abstain from doing bad things and sinning and all of that stuff and it's a time where we try to get closer to god and practice patience and just be better people in general and only one percent of americans are Muslim and I joke about this all the time but I say that that 1% lives here in Dearborn Michigan yeah, because literally <laughs> literally the whole city a majority of the city are Muslims yeah. and um, yeah it's really helpful to us because then we have community Ooh. and everything is halal basically yeah. almost everything is halal it's comfortable Yes, and they do these really cool things like the Suhoor Festival, which we just made it to. Hey guys, look how long this line is. <laughs> I think we came on the busiest day. Look how nice this is. They have it all lit up for everybody. It's so cute. Oh, it's all heated and cute. Wow, it feels good. Wow. So uh, the Suhoor festival doesn't just include food, they also have a lot of stands that like sell different types of things like books, different, uh, there's literally a Bedouin stand right here. They have uh, like scarves, they have books over here, they have a bunch of like uh, stands that teach you about Islam. About Islam? Yeah, that's it's really so cool. cool. And it's not just like for adults, this is like a whole family yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. There's like kids here, even though it's super late. We yeah. left Ruby at home because she doesn't do well when she's up super late. Right, yeah. So we just thought we'd come here. Um, but yeah, there's just so much here and we're excited to check it out. So if you guys watched our Korea vlog, you'll know that Tim is obsessed with hitting these punching bags and trying to get the highest score. And there's a, there's a punching bag here, so of course he has to do it and try to beat the highest score. So let's see how high he can get it. You can do it! Good job, Tim! Woo! Nice one! With all these food trucks, it's really hard to make a decision on what to eat, so we're gonna just try to get as much as we can, but of course we can only eat so much, so we're just gonna try to share things. Um, but the first one we got had to be a shawarma sandwich, so here it is. Ooh, now we've had, ooh, and then there's a me one. <laughs> we've had really good shawarma sandwiches in other places like Jordan. Turkey. In Turkey, but there's no place like Dearborn showed my sandwiches. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you want to try it? It's a chicken one? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Good? It is so good. My favorite thing about this show with my sandwiches is when they like use the panini press and make the, the pita bread crispy on it because sometimes you get soggy show with me yeah. and it's just not the same. 
but they do it really well here. Oh, so good. Chicken is definitely my favorite. What do you think of that? Mm. So good. It's so good. All right, next up, we've got some birria tacos. I don't know if you remember this, but this was a big trend a while back. Basically, they're these tacos that are filled with like meat, um, like beef or chicken. We got two beef, one chicken, and then they give you this yummy sauce that you dip in it, and it's supposed to be so, so good. And then also, we got some corn and lote. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the chicken one. You just dip it in. This is really good. This is a chicken. It tastes really flavorful. I love the corn that gets when you like poop it on the outside. It's too close. It looks normal. Okay. It doesn't look for you. <laughs> what do you think of the beef ones? Yeah. My favorite. You guys, they have this 360 camera and it looks so cool. We've never done one of them before, but we're gonna do it. It's like by donation, and I think the proceeds go to a good fund, so we're gonna do that next. Hanky Panky Donuts here. We got 17 different flavors. This one's birthday cake and fruity pebbles. All you can smell is fruity pebbles. Oh god, that's so good. Oh, this is the birthday cake. Equally as good. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, I told you that was really I don't good. like fruity pebbles. No, but it's so good. I'm not a big sweets person, but sometimes. No, that's where it's at. Mm, it tastes like a kind of cake donut. Yeah. Very good. So yummy. What do you like? <laughs> <laughs> you guys better hurry up and get oh, this fruity like pebbles. Fruity pebbles? Cause they're going quick. All right. So next up, we've got this pineapple filled with some juice. So this was from a place called Juice Central, and it has this like pushta uh, cream, which is basically like a sweet cream, and then it's filled with some pineapple juice and some strawberries and pineapples. So it's like a smoothie, a pineapple smoothie. It's so sweet, but super tasty. Yeah, all right, getting some chai. Oh, beautiful. How does it taste? Oh, it tastes good. I've never had it before. Really? It tastes like apple. Oh. Very good, thank you. So we came to this place called the Cookie Boys. I got a cinnamon toast crunch cookie. Oh, well, I gotta get some cookies. It's a big. big cookie. It's good, right? It's good, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and then we have the original here. So it's a big circle cookie, and then they put ice cream on top. Yum. <laughs> it's hard, it's usually soft. Mm. What do you think? It's so sweet, I need milk with them. Honestly, it's really good, but I do need like a cup of milk because it's so sweet. Okay, so I think we have hit our limit on foods and drinks for the night. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely super fun and super tasty. Mm -hmm. um, and the, so, something that was really nice was a lot of the vendors were donating like 15% of their profits to help the people in Palestine. So that's yes. really cool. That is really cool, yeah. Yeah, and this is such a, just such a cool local event that they have going on for the people and I think it's really special mm -hmm. because sometimes living in America being a foreigner you do feel like you get Don't left out. yeah you especially having a religion that doesn't have like holidays off or anything it's nice to have these things so we can all celebrate in the fun yeah so we're not always outside looking in <laughs> yeah but yeah we're gonna end it here and I hope that you enjoyed this little clip of us in our hometown and if you celebrate Ramadan happy Ramadan to all of you we're not really sure when this video is gonna come out but hopefully it's still during Ramadan time yes hopefully yes. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this food while well, watching us eat this food as much <laughs> as we did eating it. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Happy Ramadan! Happy Ramadan guys! Ramadan Mubarak! Testing the microphone, does it work? Is it working? Testing. Let me clap my cheeks.
Okay, Sarah, what are we doing today? I'm going with you guys to this horror festival. Okay. <laughs> okay, Paul, what are you excited to eat? Everything. Yeah, back up. Everything vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta throw it up. Oh, oh you gotta yeah. it Burn it. You. Burn it. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> look at yeah. that. Oh, my mama. This is my mama. My mother. She comes from Iraq. <laughs> Iraq. 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 Baghdad. Iraq. <laughs> Cheese. Ooh. Ew, the lighting on your camera is not it, Shahid. It hasn't focused. There we go. My song! You guys shut your mouth for a second. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know.